This is part two, the application of the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. As I did in the last video, here's a listing of ingredients and also a list of how you are to apply the deep treatment mask to your natural hair. While the deep treatment mask can be used to repair damaged hair as well as serve as a heat protectant, my purpose of using the mask is to deep condition my hair for extra moisture. Because this is my first time using the mask, you'll see in the video that I smell it as well as check the consistency in my hand before I actually apply it. But I will wait and I will share my thoughts about this at the end of the video. When applying any product to my hair, I only work on one section at a time and untwist that section only. Here I put as much mask as I need to coat the entire hair, but as you can see I still clasp my hands over my hair and I do not do a lot of manipulation to it and I twist it right back up after I finish because I don't want to spend more time having to detangle my hair which in the end for me always causes more breakage than necessary. I'm really not sure how much of the mask I should use on my hair per section. So what I do is I just grab some, coat the hair, retwist the hair, and if I feel that there's too much, I just kind of run my hands down the twist and apply it to the next section. That way I am not wasting any product, but I do want my hair to be coated well. don't show it, I put a plastic cap over my head and I go and sit up under the dryer for 10 minutes. Now I am prepping my hair so that I can put in my leave-in conditioner which is the Kinky Curly Not Today. is that it's soft. Mm -hmm. Very soft.
thought about the deep treatment mask. My first thoughts about the smell is that it smells exactly like shea butter and it smells really um, light. It's not very strong and overwhelming and so I, I really do appreciate that. Sometimes I'm sensitive to smell and I don't like a lot of different things going on so I, I, I like the smell. So as far as how much I use, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the top and if you can tell I haven't I didn't really use a lock, even though it may have looked like I was kind of globbing it on. I would reuse from one section to the next, and so I ended up not using a lot at all. But what I do think I will do the next time is instead of just kind of going in with my hand, what I'll do is I'll pre-measure about maybe a fourth cup, which probably it may still be too much, but I'll start with a fourth cup and put it in my bowl, you know, scoop it out with a spoon and then just use it from there. That way I know that I'm preserving and then whatever I don't use, I'll just spoon it back into the jar. As far as the ingredients go, I don't know if anybody paid attention to this, but right here, the small little circle says that there are certified organic ingredients in the shea treatment. Sorry, the deep treatment mask. But the only certified organic ingredient that I actually see is the shea butter. So that's really good because it says it's organic raw shea butter and that's the main ingredient of this. So it's good to see that it's actually organic shea butter in the mixture. Just like the shampoo, there are no parabens or paraffin or synthetic fragrance or color or animal ingredients or sulfates and it is cruelty free. It really left my hair feeling really soft, really moisturized, gave my hair shine, um, a lot of definition and I really, really like this. So if you look on the front, it says it's for dry, damaged hair. While I did not feel that my hair is dry or damaged, I really can see the restorative um, benefit of using this. With any product that you use, with any type of manipulation to your hair, no matter how careful we try to be, there may be the possibility of some type of damage that we do to our hair. And so for me, I don't think that it is a bad idea for me to have purchased this or to continue to use it. Just because I don't consider my hair to be damaged doesn't mean that it's not damaged. And we try so hard to do or you know do preventative things like protective styles, detangling from the end, all those kinds of things to preserve the um, the nature of our hair. And so I feel as though. This is just one more thing I can do to preserve the nature of my hair, so. I really do like the treatment. It, 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 it was a really good purchase for me. I'm not a product junkie, so if I buy something, I plan to use it. If you look at my video, what's up under my sink, <laughs> there were not a lot of products there. So for me to, I mean, I, I researched for a while. I watched review after review. Probably watched at least you know 30 or 40 reviews on this product, and everybody said the same thing. And that's when I made the initial decision to go and purchase it for myself. So I really do like the product. Like I said, it says it's for dry, damaged hair to heal, grow, and strengthen your hair. And who doesn't want their hair to grow and remain strong? So I like it. Yeah. Stay tuned for part three where I compare the curling Hanson smoothie to Miss Jessie's curling meringue.